Greetings, my fellow knights. Welcome back to the Struggle Bus, where today we're trying out some of the new cards with Arcane Bombardment. Card that allows us to exile instants and sorceries from our graveyard to cast them for free later on every time we cast our first instant or sorcery for the turn. This includes our turn and our opponent. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into all of the spells we are running here. Four Fading Hopes, because that's going to be protection for one of the cards. Actually, yeah, actually, let me just talk about the win cons. My bad. So, obviously, Arcane Bombardment is our main win con, but we're also trying out Judith Carnage Connoisseur that allows us to generate a 2-2 Imp that when the Imp dies, it deals two damage to each opponent. So, as you can tell already with the synergies, let's say we have three spells under bombardment we can play one spell that will trigger junith and then also trigger bombardment the three spells underneath bombardment will trigger generating additional value with imps so by the end of that exchange we played one spell and generated four imps that are two twos that deal two damage to the opponent so you can see where we're going here so we're running fading hopes because early on it allows us to tempo our opponent by bouncing their early aggression or spending one mana to reset or time walk their four or five drop but also when we play junith it gives us a way of protecting our junith for one and i think it's a little bit better than having like a hexproof spell because of the fact that we can use this offensively and if it gets tucked in the bombardment we can repeatedly slow down our opponent to play with fires because it does become a straight up kill spell thanks to Junith's other ability giving it death touch but it's a way to ping the opponent as well as a cheap way of triggering bombardment for tainted indulgence because early on it allows us to fill our graveyard and filter for the cards we need and later on just straight up draws us to whale of the forgotten we are using this one primarily for the return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand it allows us to get rid of enchantments and planeswalkers and all kinds of awkward things then later in the game should we have uh, no use for the bounce effect we can make our opponent discard or we can even use it to look at the top three cards of our library put one into our hand and the rest into our graveyard further fueling our arcane bombardment and then of course should we happen to pitch enough things to descend eight then all of a sudden now we get to choose all three modes so a little unfortunate that it is a sorcery speed but i think the diversity of it is extremely valuable three brotherhoods ends to stop the aggro list because we don't really have a way to ramp into a bombardment Ill Time Explosion is a nice card because in the surface, it really just draws us two cards, putting us up one card. But we can discard cards to deal damage to the board. So it's a modified board wipe that I like. Um, we're, it's kind of taking the place of Burn Down the House. It's a little more situational, but it does combo well with our double face card that allows it to deal a full eight damage to everything on the board or creature wise but once again if we have nothing to wipe or we don't want to discard we can simply just draw two cards with it big score you guys have seen it this one is pretty much the real glue that makes bombardment work it allows us to discard cards to fuel our bombardment as well as ramping us into bombardment one sudden setback is a nice way of getting rid of permanently or pseudo permanently getting rid of pesky things like enchantments planeswalkers or bigger creatures because now it not only tucks or puts it back in their hand but and bounces it but it actually tucks it back in the deck and they have to decide and sometimes they do put it on the bottom you can easily run more of this ogier but i only have one so that's all we're running this is great because giving our spells rebound means that we get the free trigger off of a bombardment as well as additional value when we don't have bombardment the nice thing too is it comes down on four so if our opponent kills it it turns into a land allowing us to on turn five to play a land immediately playing bombardment so a little bit of ramp there very nice as well we already talked about judith and then finally one of the sweet cards here Floatsum slash Jetsum. This one's nice because early game, it allows us to mill three and investigate. So it replaces ourselves for the investment of four mana. Primarily, we're not really trying to do this unless we need to and we have nothing else better to do with our mana. The real reason why it's in the deck though is, and it is instant. That part of it is instant speed. That is a nice way to trigger bombardment on our opponent's turn. But Jetsum is the money maker. Each opponent mills three cards. Then you may cast a spell from each opponent's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If a spell is cast this way, it would be put into the graveyard, exile it instead. So this is super great because it allows us to 
have a tertiary win con by milling our opponent out, even though it's not going to really happen, but we're taking their own win cons and using them against them. Now it allows us to play any spell. So we could play a planeswalker, an enchantment, a creature, a removal spell, whatever we deem fit, which is extremely powerful in this format with all these haymakers going around. So this is fantastic. It's nice. We can get into the graveyard early with casting the float some side and then triggering it for free or even at instant speed thanks to bombardment on their turn. So a very powerful card, a little clunky, but I think it's worth the effort. And that's what we do here on the struggle bus. So let's find out if this wacky Judith Floatsome Arcane Bombardment list has what it takes. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me, riding the struggle bus with me. I appreciate you immensely. Mm, on the draw. On the draw. Guess we have one way to dig. Uh, I don't feel great about this one, but we have the ramp into our win con. I'm going to keep it. But if we see a mountain on the other side, we're not going to be happy. Okay. All right. That's better. Let's go marsh here. Just because we have a little more information on whether we need to draw for a land or interaction. Okay. We're okay with this. Could have been a lot worse. So they just take bombardment or indulgence, I think. We're okay with either of those. Cause we're gonna we'll we'll have an answer to clear the board before that. So yeah, not too shabby. I think it's okay. Could have been worse, right? If it was straight discard and we lost the bombardment, that would be less great, but yeah. Oh nice. We actually get the indulgence. Um no, I think we I think we scout here. And another one. Do we want to be that greedy? I think we do. And it's not that greedy because of the fact that they're running discard. It right? Or at least we think they are because of bat. We've seen a lot of discard lately, so I think that's okay to just give us the insurance. Um we still get to indulgence. Obviously it would have kind of paid towards that but it's gonna be a while before we get to discard anything so we'll see arena that is a problem though that is a problem because that will eat up um i mean yeah yeah because they're gonna be gaining life with with bat so it is a problem but it is what it is indulgence hopefully get a fading hope to bounce something to buy us some time and then we get to big score into bombardment and mono black does not have much going on once we get the bombardment on the ground we're also negating most of their removal so could be worse um really the problem here is we don't want to see a shielded shielded would be an issue because i would shut off the majority of our stuff so uh drinker we're okay with they had a Liliana, they would have played it. So we dodge the shield. Wait. What just That's not what we wanted to see. That's awkward. Alright. Well. I mean it's not the worst, but I definitely wanted to indulgence there. Uh, well, big score discarding big score. Hold on to the cheaper spell because that has a higher chance of us being able to play it with the bombardment in play. So we'll see. Uh, that's fine. They'll take the other bombardment. We'll draw our um, our Brotherhood's End, get all our stuff back. They're drawing cards, so that is an issue. They're hitting all their land drops, but I think the fact that they're not taking a ton of damage works out for us. And like I said, we'll, we'll be all right. Problem is, is that we do have to race. I, I, I feel pretty confident in the fact that they have the virtue in their hand. So... Let's go here, and yeah, we'll pitch the big score.
One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could technically bounce a bat, get the thing, but I don't think that's correct. I think we just go here. Want to hold the fading hope. One, two, three, four. I think we mill that. Still okay on life. Uh, big score, the indulgence, now that we have fading hope. No. So at EOT, we can punch the... I'd like to keep this for, like, virtue. Okay. I think we're going to be okay. I really do. So this is fine. End of the turn, we'll set back bouncing the bat. Get the most expensive card out of their their hand. And then you can put this back on top because they have arena. Life gain has been quite relevant. I mean, there's really no wrong answer here. I'm assuming they're going to sack it. But we still get the Bombardment back. So it works out. They'll ping us for two. But then we can play Bombardment. And then Fading Hope on their turn. I mean, I guess there would have been an argument to big score. Because that would have given us the opportunity to play Indulgence plus Fading Hope. But we'll make do what we got. Really here now, we would like to hit the sudden setback. All right. Let's go here. And yeah, uh, so they're packing a removal. And then, hmm. I don't think we can afford to take four because I was thinking we could Fading Hope the bat on their turn, right? And we'll send it back. Want to try to wait as long as possible. The only downside to this is if we would have hit the big score. But I still think it's correct. Can we afford to take four here to get this back? Maybe. With two of them live? Man, that would be pretty powerful. We'll start churning through our deck pretty quickly. Is the juice worth the squeeze here? The juice worth the squeeze. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. And... Yep. Fading Hope. The We also get the Scry here. Let's see if we hit the setback or not. So we probably can't play Junith, right? Because they're packing a ton of removal. If they had the Sacrifice... Sacrifice a creature to draw cards. They would have done that already with the drinker. Okay. Uh, let's pitch the big score. Keep our lands. I don't know if that's correct or not. Oh, we have the floatsome. Awesome. And another fading hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we will bottom that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have the indulgence. Life is looking pretty good here, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go here. We can leave the Fading Hope for free. Seems good. So we will... Indulgence. Trigger, trigger. And now I think we get to pop off. Big score, discarding the land. 
right? And it guarantees we get our... There's Judith. Sudden, perfect. So let's... Uh, sudden. Put Vram back in their hand. And let's discard another land. And then we pick a bounce spell. And Oh, yeah. It's go time, my friends. It is go time. I think we've got it now. We'll be able to Judith plus Jetsam. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then seven. And then five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's on like a Donkey Kong. They bottom that, so they may have another one in hand. At this point, let's pitch another wait how many cards do we have we have two yeah that's good and it guarantees us the fading hope and yeah i like this um nope send it back and now i feel pretty good about them taking whatever they want here Push goes into shove. We have Ottawara. We're bouncing everything. Bat. Uh, that's okay. Take what you want. Because we can Tainted Indulgence or we can Fading Hope. And then that's going to get us our bounce spells. Yeah, we'll be okay. This is nice. This is real nice. I wonder if the correct play was to discard the Jet Sim there <clears throat> to get it back. It probably was, to be honest with you, so we don't have to pay the full price. We'll do that when we do this indulgence here. Take the Junith. Interesting, interesting. Another bat. See, that, that they made the mistake there. Yep. So... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Take the Fading Hope. That checks out. They'll attempt to attack us for one, and now I don't think it's correct to take any more damage, so we'll just bounce it. Well, it's not even bounce, right? It's a uh, tuck. We can also start tucking that if we really want to. It's funny because people haven't seen that, so they haven't seen the power that is. Uh, sure, we'll go here. Trigger this. Keep our life total nice and high. Sweet spot would be if we get the Fading Hope. We do. Excellent. Excellent. So let's go here. We'll discard the Floatsome this time. And then Fading Hope this one. And then when we trigger the other one, we could put the Arena back. Uh, land can go to the bottom. We're good on those. Ooh, good thing we put it in the bottom. Alright, let's go with big score. Don't want to discard our one spell just in case. And then we will bounce one of those and indulgence. There we go. Cool. Uh, discard that. Almost able to do both things. Then we could really start popping off. <clears throat> Ooh, they put on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's discard another land. Almost there. Yeah. This feels real good. Sorry, this game's going to take a minute, but... Drinker's fine. So... I think we... 
we'll get hmm i want to keep the fading hopes to keep our um all right so let's start off with jetsam trigger trigger and then we can play our junith if we want uh let's go fading hope this one discard a another land and draw gotta be careful with our deck now we're gonna have to slow down here and let's just discard another land Uh, and we'll leave that on top. Uh, let's load some, doing this one, and just send that back. And we won't draw those, because our deck is getting low here. Left it on top, interesting. Uh, awkward, because we don't want to start taking damage, so I guess we just corrupt, um, equal to the swamps, we are, oh, these kind of swamps, uh, sure, let's kill that one, start getting some life back, indestructible but we still gain the life so i think we're okay yeah that's fine we'll still get in the life we're okay with that and then we keep playing that next turn cool and we just played judith okay yeah, yeah. this is cool so we're we have to be cognizant uh let's look at their hand let's return the favor here I mean, we actually could... That's hilarious. We could actually mill them with how many cards we have in our mana. Maybe we should have gotten Gix. That would have been hilarious. We'll do it next turn. That is absolutely hilarious. Yep. That is fine with me. We still get to take a peek at the hand. Black Sun. Target creature gains indestructible. All right. So, wow. We were rocking it. That's hilarious. Okay, cool. So, and now they can't activate, so this is great. Oh, we're, we're, we're sitting real pretty here, friends. This is going to pop off next turn. We just have to make sure we don't... Uh, and let's see. Play a land and go to discard. And now we discard the whale. So they go to kill our unit and we make a thousand dudes. So they just didn't have to top deck the swamp. Oh no, we're actually good now too with the swamp. We can have that fizzle. All right, all right. Uh, oh, opponent. I'm sorry, but I'm really not. Bouncer, Junith, all the triggers. Make a 2-2. Uh, we will bounce your cavern bat. And, I mean, might as well make a bunch of dudes, right? I don't think we're going to kill ourselves here. So, Brotherhood's End. Indulgence. And big score. Pitching Ottawara. Doesn't matter anymore because we have Fading Hope. Mega Tutu. Mega Tutu. Mega Tutu. <laughs> and we still have our other one this is just one bombardment yeah this this is the real nice yep discard a land huh. 
And no, we can we can bottom that. We're good now. And let's jetsum, jetsum, send this back. And how many cards left do we have? 16? Yeah, let's just kill him here. Uh, we will discard. Ill-timed explosion. And the land. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. Kudos to our opponent. Um, we'll discard another whale. Twelve cards left, but I mean we are literally showing and we could just replay Junith, which is absolutely hilarious. And then if we trigger the Brotherhood's end or the Yeah. Alright, what do we get on our side? Alright, let's get Yogmoth. Because we can do the thing. No, right? Hold on. Discard X cards, I got the top X cards of target opponent's library. We play lands and cast spells from one as well without paying their mana cost. Yeah, let's just do gigs. Because why not, right? And then we will get. Spell can't be countered. So let's just take a peek at their hand. We will steal the. I don't know why these target creatures indestructible until end of turn target creature. So I guess we just get the indestructible construct. Alright. Uh, that resolves. And then let's do it because it's hilarious. We won't have enough to fire off the corrupt though is the only sad part. We didn't get the other one? We did not. Oh, they AFK'd. I'm sorry, opponent. We tried to be fast. We really did. It's just too many triggers. Oh, that was on their turn. Derp. Uh, sure. Get a card. So we can't activate that anyways. We do it on their turn. Oh, gosh. This is redonkulous. I forgot it was their turn. Uh, our turn. So let's just kill them. I'm not. I, I want to do it because it's hilarious, but at the same time, I don't. Uh, sure. Whale. Return a permanent and discard a card. We're not going to look at our deck. Return that. Discard a card. And that's it. Decline. Kill that guy, get our thing back, swing, and then wipe the board. But we could have. We could have. Maybe we still should. All right. Uh, let's whale them. Opponent discards a card. And then we'll do this in case we hit the corrupt. Could we mill them? No, right? And we're done. Still don't get the corrupt. Okay. Geeks' command. Uh, two counters. And sure. Two counters here. And that's it because we want these guys to die. Get her back. Oh my gosh. This is kind of gross. 26 cards left. All right. This is going to be the last one we record. Uh, we do... Oh, right. 20. Yeah. This is 22. And they're dead. Okay. Cool. But for the record, we could have activated it. I think it was fine. All right. I think we just did the floatum. Yeah, they tilted. I'm sorry, opponent. But it's all right. So I guess I'll just mute, fast forward until we get to kill him. All 
Alrighty. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, this one looks pretty keepable to me. We have a little bit of interaction. We have some discard. We have our gear. Let's keep it. Lead off with the ridge, just so we have access to all our things. Maybe going up against another slow deck. We'll see. Control's a little awkward. May hold on to the Jitsum to discard the ill-timed. Uh, we don't have anything to do next turn, so I think we just float some this turn. So we're able to draw next turn. Yep, sounds good. I want to try to make sure we hit our land drop. So going up against a control deck, but they're blue-black. So if we can manage to resolve our bombardment, I think we have a pretty good chance of winning. Ooh, okay. This is... All right. So we're going to draw, and then we're going to bounce this, so they have to discard. Right? Hold on. Deals damage to each creature. Yeah, all right. So we're just going to draw here. And then... Oh, we actually should have played Fading Hope first. My sequencing there was wrong. But we want to play Ogier, so we're going to try to bounce this. Oh, wait. Why did it... Awkward. All right. Well, I'm going to eat my mistake here, and we're still going to bounce this guy. Um, As great as she is, and it definitely pull a counter spell, I want to really hit our land drop. And we're using one of our fading hopes here, so I'm going to bottom her. We have another in the deck. Yeah, that is a little awkward. Um, we would have liked to play Ogier, then they killed the Ogier, and then we could play Bombardment, but I think we got to kind of... Soren, okay. Okay, so they are a control list. Let's play Ogier. They can kill it. That's fine. They let it resolve. We can block. They will get to draw a card. I think it's better than playing Explosion. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, this is removal. Bounce the token. But we also have ill-timed Explosion for that. And they might minus. Uh, I am going to mill it. I think we want to either try to hit our land. Yep. No surprise there. We knew that was coming. Uh, and they're not running counter magic. So, they're going to draw two additional cards here. Alright, so they're definitely the Planeswalker, which is an issue. Don't get me wrong. Bouncing the, using the whale to bounce is a little frustrating. So this is going to be interesting, but we get to resolve a bombardment. So I actually feel oh, darn so close. I've been sweet. Uh, let's go bombardment. All right. So we can brotherhoods and stem some of this bleeding, right? And then it would also hopefully we draw land and we can big score on their turn. That would be nice. I think we're just going to attack their hand with the... Oh, no, we'll attack their mana. We have to keep hitting Baraska because that's going to tap out their mana if we hit the Forgotten. So let's see. Hitting Brotherhood's end would be kind of nice. Nice. Very cool. All right, let's discard big score. No. Because this... Draws us two versus this discarding card. Now we want the instant speed. 
Okay. I don't feel horrible about this. I really don't. We're going to be able to bounce the Vraska. Floatsome's going to work for us. I, I think this works. I think it's going to work out. Baiting Hope. A little rough. Really want to try to hit the... Alright, let's see. It's going to be a big hit here. Big hit. But yeah, I can't think of a blue red spell or blue black that will get rid of our bombardment very strong play opponent all right so maybe we needed judith all right we hit the land love it love it so let's start off here and we need our two yep so we'll start off here dealing three damage to everyone trigger come on hook it up Okay, okay. You chose the wrong All right. Day to cross me. Go here, and we'll do it on their upkeep, I think is correct. To try, if we hit Brotherhood Den, we can kill, like, three of their Planeswalkers. So I think we have to do it on their upkeep. And let's go with the least expensive one. All right, good, 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 good. I like that. All right, so let's draw and we'll bounce. Where is it? Uh, let's bounce Varaska. She's the most expensive one, right? Yeah, so we'll bounce Varaska. Two, kind of a whiff. Okay, all right. Bloatsum, it Jetsum's great because we get to do it on their turn. We get to uh, play cards from their graveyard. So, so what's this? Four non-land activated abilities, right? Um, I don't think that's right, right? Because we we just bounce that, right? Am I am I wrong here? I'm not silly, right? We just bounce that, and then they... Because they're exiled, exiled for return, transform under your control. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, if we hit... That resolves. Uh, let's pitch a land for right now and we already played so we don't do this one we all have things we'd rather. and we'll do a big score because i want to hit our land drops we get to play edict from their great yeah this is Do, do, do. Dire times call for dire tactics. So we do have to worry about the mill. All right, our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight so i think we float some there we go excellent so let me see something real quick this won't kill them both but it will we can maybe we shouldn't have we'll see uh all right so view browser we're going to bounce this first and then make them we don't get to discard so sorry guys so we'll draw last we will bounce this even though we could look for a spell and then deal three to each planeswalker oh i guess we could have destroyed oh man we could have just destroyed whatever 
we got there good game <laughs> sorry complex board state i mean at the very least we have plenty of interaction um yeah i guess we can keep this one not my favorite hand but brotherhood's hand takes care of the early aggro and then we have the fading hopes for the bigger aggro oh that's a problem actually should have played the hunter ridge but that way we have two mana on tap but that's okay so probably golgari artifacts or cookies right is what their food foods Let's see if we can get a two for one off of this brotherhood's end three for one would be nice all right that's good enough that is good enough my friends gets rid of two viable issues and then we have the fading hopes to protect our judith we have tina indulgence to hit our lands have to be cognizant of them having the abolisher uh, all right let's go here and send it back so they're going to outdraw us, unfortunately, for the time being. But when we turn the corner, we'll turn the corner fairly big. Alright, let's go this way, because that's a more expensive card. Keep our lands. I think we can pitch a land. Keep our interaction. Go here, and then this is nice because we can get their Glissa. So I think we all right. So this is good because they can't play anything, right? Or replay the Glissa, so that buys us some time. Bounce here, and then I think we actually hold on to the Jetsam. Uh, we are going to bottom that because we want to hit our... Well, I guess we could discard it. Yeah, let's leave it on top. It's kind of what we came here to do. Go here and discard our first one. Keep our interaction. There we go. Hit our land. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Probably pretty safe to fire this off, I would think. Look at that. Yep, don't mind if I do. Uh, let's get... We can get Glissa to get rid of their throne. Yeah, I think we go Glissa or Shieldred. Let's go Glissa and Ogier, I think are the correct plays here. Uh, we could save it. Do we want to? I think we're... We can pop this. Get double triggers. Keep this. We can block here. Yeah, I think we go ahead and indulgence. Because it's going to draw us cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. So we can... I mean, they would have taken taking five here if we had gotten the shieldred but i like getting rid of their card advantage ah okay that was that was my bad i'll take the hit there still feel pretty good about things to be completely honest all right let's go 
here and let's mill don't need that for right now and we'll fading hope on their turn so yeah i guess that was my bad i guess the correct pile was to get her shoulder that shielded there we'll talk take four they still have a pause bounce here so they can't get rid of our bombardment and let's see if we get lucky I'll take that plus up the hand now we give yeah oh yeah oh yeah uh i like that we're gonna leave that on top two three four five triplets pretty strong pretty strong Let's go here and then bounce the arena. Do we die here? We can bounce one of these guys. Let's see what we get. I think we can eat a card. I don't think that's worthy of it. Yeah, I think we just end up bouncing one of these guys. Triggers. Let's get a 2 2. And we got another Fading Hope. Fantastic. So, which... This one's targeted, so we'll bounce this one. And we'll draw two. And we, my friends, are popping off. <laughs> uh, let's play the untapped blue land. So we have access to our Fading Hope to protect our Judith. So now it is a card advantage race. We'll get another Fading Hope uh, and another Indulgence. So we could bounce the triplets if we want, but we're just going to end up triple blocking. Oh, I never really paid attention to the art. These look great. All right, let's go with, go to blocks, <clears throat> block to here, and block to here. What do you have, opponent? Actually should have blocked three on the roaming throne. That was my mistake. Now kill spell will keep that alive. <clears throat> so that was, I rushed it a little bit. But this also means that unless they have double go for the throw and we're still going to save Judith and we're going to get triggers. Yep. So I messed up there. I'll take that hit. Maybe they were expecting the triple. Yeah, I, I, we should triple block. That was silly. Okay, cool. Let's save Judith, but not before we get a ton of triggers. And Brotherhood's End is uh, actually a problem, unfortunately. Because we want to do the three damage, but we'll lose our Junith. So I guess they... Oh, okay, wait. So we can... Let's go Brotherhood's End, dealing three damage to everyone. And then Fading Hope are... Junith, and then Indulgence. There we go. Oh, yeah. And we still... Oh, do we kill them? Oh, that is sick. There was a fire fight! <laughs> oh, that is great. Now we don't even have to play Junith if we don't want to. All right, let's see how we do this. The here one, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Play our other one, and then we can. We don't have the option. These are kind of expensive. So I think we Junith again, and then just bounce there. Here. Oh, uh, maybe that was a mistake because we. Oh, we had the Brotherhood's end, so we should have bounced that. That's fine. Um. Let's go with. Fading hope here, fading hope here, and oh, we actually should have done this. Hold on, can we kill them here? Oh, did it? Oops, my bad. It's fine. My bad. I was uh. Did we play a land? We did. That was my fault. I was hoping to reset it so we can kill these six guys and kill them. So that was on me. That's what I wanted to do was cancel the Fading Hope and then reorder it. But this was still pretty amazing. I mean, they're just dead here. Short. Uh, you got it. Let's see if they go for the fight with the frog. Frog against Death Touch. You got it, my friend. Then we just bounce. Bounce the frog. And then we opponent return this to your hand. Alright. Make a 2-2. Two -two. Let's do this the right way. So Brotherhead's End is the first thing we do. Dealing three damage to everybody. No, oh, they didn't want to do it again. Nice. Not super exciting, but this is reasonable. We have a good cleanup on turn four. Let's keep this one. I think we'll hold on to the theater till turn two. May even do it on turn three. We'll see. We'll start off here so we don't take any damage for if we decide to float some. Use one to draw a card and cycle. We'll see how aggressive the opponent is. Duress. So down goes the explosion. I think that makes our Jetsum slightly less appealing. Uh, I think we're good on land. So let's bottom. Yeah, I think... I think we pitch that that is some interaction but i think we really want to hit like something a little more powerful i think maybe my my sequencing was gonna be off too because now like we really unless we had a three drop we're not really doing much where we could have floats them to fuel our graveyard and draw on three and then play the theater okay all right fair enough opponent Opponent doing some good work here. Probably going to hold on to the Jetsum now that they are looking to kind of filter everything out. Sounds good. Uh, let's... I think we get rid of our expensive spell. Sounds good. All right. That's a good draw. It's a good draw. Reason why I wanted to keep that because it's interaction in case they draw, they play like a planeswalker or something, right? Sounds good. Uh, we will discard the Jetsum because we want to keep hitting our land drops. I think that's really the crucial part here. And, uh,. Go digging. Good chance they're going to make us discard again unless their hand's all removal. Actually, let's just do it. I think we do it. Fuel the graveyard. Question is, do we take a land? Don't hate another one. I think we take indulgence. It would have been nice if we could have worked it in a way where we would have drawn. Uh, just draw two to plus up, but I guess we'll just have to deal with cycling here. Mm 
But I like the fact that we're hitting our land drops. We're able to play everything. Wonder if there was potentially an argument to just keep the whale to draw again. Sounds good. Shorten the clock. I can respect that. All right. Oh, we're going to pop this. Um, yep, we're going to pop this. I think taking one is okay. We'll pitch the land. All right, do we draw the bombardment? Huge draw here. Yes! Oh, that was huge. Okay. Okay, so now... Come on, give me... Give me a jetsam or a whale would be nice we're gonna take five we're getting pretty close here we have ways of just bouncing these guys so let's see if we get there this is a big draw here uh that's not it one two three ah oh, man we have to pitch it uh unfortunately because we won't be able to discard we need to draw something we can play so one two three four five six Takes us down to two. Really needed a spell there. Um, so now we have to go a cheap spell. Okay. All right. This is not the worst. What do we get? All right. Draw again. So we're plus the... Oh, that's not good. Come on. Um... Well, that's horrible. I'm not even going to lie. Um, we needed... We could bounce one die. So I guess we... Fire this off again to go dig for an instant. And then we could just play... Figure out what land we play. Uh, Junith would have helped. We'll play with fire. And then we'll go here... And I think we just wait for them to go to combat. Darn, almost could have. Even with the opponent absolutely wrecking our hand, we almost got there. I think I wait till they go to combat. I think we're dead. But you never know. All right. Let's shoot. Shoot this guy. Come on. Big trigger here. Big trigger. Unfortunately, we're going to take one damage. We don't... Yeah, I, I think we're done. Don't think... Maybe we could hit our float some. We did not. That's a bummer. All right. Uh, we will do this one first. And I guess we will... Bounce one of their guys. And then... Kill that. Bounce, bounce. But we take two damage. Yeah, they got us. Oh, man. Well played, opponent. Well played. Was there a turn where we could have saved some damage? I don't think so. Yeah, the, uh, we were good until the burn down the house. That's really what changed the math there. So... All right, well, unfortunately, we're recording. Our opponent seems to have possibly timed out, so we'll just call it here. So, moving on to the next one.